Well, if you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Crystal Palace facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. De Jong. Mukoko. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Liverpool game. Alex Scott can fill us in. It's a goal for the Saints. They've scored the opener with 13 minutes played. What a fascinating matchup we have here today, Derek. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. City get the corner. A very effective clearance. Deciding to go inside. But they took care of the situation defensively. Holland. And they need to get tighter. Still possibilities. Mares. Mares. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Just the challenge that was required. Well, as you can see, City have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. Well, that's right. And unusually, they don't have the ball on this occasion. And a goal has gone in in the Nottingham Forest match. Alex Scott has all the details. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. The goalkeeper will be looking at himself on that one. He was totally out of position, and it was an easy finish. They've scored the opener here with 33 minutes played. The crossbar got in the way. And couldn't keep himself onside. Well, to Alex, apologies for having to interrupt you just then. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. MacArthur getting in there to intercept. Neymar. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Zaha. And thwarted there, following the cross. So that is it for the first half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. And number 20, Asofa Mukoko. Frankie De Jong. Number 47, Holland. Number 22, Jude Bellingham. Bellingham. And number 16, well, they stop them in their tracks. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. 
Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two, and he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move, and he can continue to develop his career. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, Nottingham Forest were awarded the penalty. He tried to fall in with his runner, but the goalkeeper was having none of it. It remains 1-0 with 56 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. He might be able to profit from the wide position. And he cuts inside. Well, and the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Well, no card, just a warning, and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Crystal Palace facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. Oh, he's in behind them here, Derek. Well, he had the chance. He went for power. He might be regretting that now. Well, he got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor miss. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And we're hearing news of a goal in the Liverpool match. Alex Scott, what can you tell us? Yeah, it's a third goal for Liverpool. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 64 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Effective challenge. Teammates available. Sheikh Ducouré. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. He takes aim, but into the keeper's gloves. City did well to win it back. Great vision from Leroy Zane. Holland. Holland! And the keeper more than equal to the task. And they will make the change now. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Well, City looked as though they'd got the equaliser there, but it's a very good save by the keeper. Time is running out now. And that's to an attacking position. It's not too late for them. He's in behind. And it's come off the keeper. And in the end, no damage done. And so there we have it, the final. Well, sometimes as a footballer, you have to get used to playing in a downpour. That could be the case this evening. The rain has been lashing down. 
I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of the Carabao Cup. It's Barnsley facing Manchester City. Real defensive resilience. And still danger here. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, nowhere close to the goal when all was said and done. Well, from that sort of position, you should really be testing the goalkeeper. Has to hit the target. It's not a good attempt. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Niklas Zule starts alongside Nathan Ake in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Into the advanced position. Might go ahead. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Oh, breezing past him. Chance here. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? So, 2-0 now. Number 20, so far, Has a go. Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. A City free kick forthcoming. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball, and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch, and I don't think anything's going to change that. He's using his body to good effect. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. This looks threatening. Oh, and there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Oh, what an opportunity. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Throw into Manchester City. And he stopped them in their tracks. The referee has decided that two might be a chance here. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Now the managers will now deliver their halftime. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. 
Might it be different this time round? And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester City taking on Liverpool. A City corner it is. Well, still an issue here. No luck keeping possession. Now can they counter clinically? This is a message for away supporters. At full time, can you please remain where you are and your coach will meet you outside the stand. Thank you. Well, visionary passing. Oh, it was there for him, but unable to find the target. Well, he certainly went for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there. He should have scored that. So making the substitution now. He'll take this on. Well, misfiring without any shadow of a doubt. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And played in. Well, it's unable to make anything of the cross. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover. Takes the shot. Oh, the angle didn't favour him, but not far away at all. Well, he nearly caught the keeper out there. That was a really good attempt. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Sunny. And he's broken free. Attacking football at its finest. For Manchester City, number 16, Leroy Sane. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Oh, big opportunity. It's still alive. Foden. Superb block. Denied once more. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Yusuf Mokoko. Coming onto the pitch, number 9. Let's see about the delivery. Not really the ideal clearance. Giving it a try. And City get the throw in. It's going to be a double substitution. And Bellingham. Corner for Manchester City. He opted for placement, but it didn't happen for him. Oh, a lovely ball. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Erling Haaland. Well, that's a well-timed pass. The final whistle then, and Manchester City progress.
It has emerged as one of the fixtures on the English football calendar, and with good reason. Manchester City against Liverpool, mouth-watering to say the least. Stay with us for all the action coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City taking on Liverpool. Well Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game though. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Salah. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Thiago starts with Leon Goretzka in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the Liverpool throw in forthcoming. Andrew Robertson. And they need to get tighter. Laid into the box, defended well. But a goal to tell you about in the Arsenal game. Let's join Alex Scott. Yep, yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 15 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Oh, a smart stop. But he's gone short with it. Targets available. Cross comes in. And a goal! 1 0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. So back in action. Will there be a quick response from City? There needs to be. Diesch. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, what a start he's had to the season. He looks so sharp at the moment, and his finishing has been lethal. There's every chance he'll add to his tally today. And there's the delivery. And a no-nonsense clearance. Neymar. And no way through. And Neymar! And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, moving towards the end of the first half and City chasing the game here. Stuart, what have you made of the performance so far? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! No way through! He's given it away. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Lovely work to get past his man. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number two, Nicholas Silva. And the short option preferred. Number six, Nathan Ake. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. And that is going to be...
the pool in front but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over will it happen for them top class defending Alvarez oh a perfectly timed pass and possession lost intercepted this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Can they hit on the break? Oh, good vision. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Fabinho. Not a decent position for Liverpool to be in. But quick thinking defensively. Alvarez. Neymar. Providing width. And Salah! There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and Salah does the rest. He strikes it so... Cleanly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There was no stopping that. A change in the offing for City. 2 0 now and back underway. Triple substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 11. And the throw in for Liverpool. 17, Kevin De Bruyne. And number 26. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. And number 16, Leroy Sane. Now, here's a match coming up on EA TV that I think you're going to want to join us for. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium, and two very good teams. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Beautifully disguised ball. And they've reduced the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then the finish is just as good from Haaland. He just strikes the ball with such power and accuracy. That's a wonderful goal. So there we have it. 2-1. Nicely timed tackle. So in the closing phase of the game, can City pull out all the stops and grab an equaliser, Stuart? Well, it's been close, but I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game. They've just not created enough clear-cut chances. There's still time, though. They just need to get the ball into the danger area. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Well, the corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Cancelo. And so the referee blows for full time and it's disappointment for Man